Hello friends, in engineering drawing subject, today we are going to learn how to draw a different orthographic views of given 3D object with respect to direction of view. So here it is our data for the problem, draw orthographic views of an object, front view, top view and left hand side view using third angle projection method. Before solving the problem, let us observe the different views of the given 3D object. Now, to solve the problem, with the help of roller scale, draw a vertical line and horizontal line. Name the intersecting point by point O and name the endpoints of horizontal line by point X, X and name the endpoints of vertical line by point y y with the help of roller scale draw a line parallel to line x x above and below at a distance of 10 millimeters similarly draw a line with the help of roller scale parallel to line y y ahead and behind at a distance of 10 millimeters you can take any distance as per your requirement now mark the points in each quadrant as shown these are the reference points for drawing a view in each quadrant now to solve the problem let us observe the front view of a given 3d object with respect to direction of view as per the given data we have to draw a front view top view and left hand side view using third angle projection method. As we know, in the case of third angle projection method, we have to draw a front view in third quadrant and top view above the front view and left hand side view at the left side of the front view. So we will assume that this is the first quadrant, this is second quadrant, this is third quadrant and this is fourth quadrant. So we will draw a front view over here and top view above the front view and left hand side view at the left side of the front view. Now to draw a front view over here, this will be our starting point for drawing the front view which is located at top left corner. So let us find out that point in our 3D object. So that is the point. Now from that point with the help of roller scale draw a vertical line of 50 millimeters, horizontal line of 10 millimeters, vertical line of 15 millimeters, horizontal line of 40 millimeters, vertical line of 15 millimeters, horizontal line of 10 millimeters and vertical line of 50 millimeters and horizontal line of 60 millimeters as shown. From this point, mark a point at a distance of 20 millimeters and from that point, draw a vertical line of 25 millimeters, horizontal line of 20 millimeters, vertical line of 25 millimeters as shown. Now our front view is completed. Let me show you the dimension so that you can draw a front view very easily. Also mention the name of the view which is front view as shown. Now let us observe the top view of given 3D object with respect to direction of view. Now, to draw a top view with the help of roller scale, take the projections of the each point of front view towards the upward direction as shown. For drawing a top view, the starting point is located at bottom left corner. So let us find out that point in given 3D object. So that is the point from that point, with the help of roller scale, from that point, draw a vertical line of 40 millimeters, 
draw a horizontal line of 60 mm, vertical line of 40 mm, horizontal line of 20 mm, vertical line of 15 mm, horizontal line of 20 mm, vertical line of 15 mm, horizontal line of 20 mm and join these two points with the help of line. As we can see in the figure, there is a rectangular hole throughout the object. So the edges will be not visible from the top view. That edges we will represent with the help of hidden line as shown. Now our top view is completed. Let me show you the dimensions of the top view so that you can draw it easily. Also mention the name of the view which is top view as shown. Now let us observe the left hand side view of the given 3D object with respect to direction of view. As we know in the third angle projection method we have to draw a left hand side view at the left side of the front view. For that we have to transfer the projections of top view. With the help of protractor from point O draw a line of any length at an angle of 45 degree as shown. With the help of roller scale draw the projections of the each point of the front view in left side direction as shown. With the help of roller scale draw the projections of the each point of the top view up to 45 degree line and transfer it in the downward direction as shown. Here top right side corner point will be our reference point for drawing a left hand side view. With the help of roller scale from that point draw a horizontal line of 40 mm, vertical line of 50 mm, horizontal line of 40 mm and vertical line of 50 mm. Now the edges which are not visible in the left hand side view we will represent them with the help of hidden line as shown. Now our left hand side view is completed. Let me show you the dimensions of the left hand side view so that you can draw it very easily. Also mention the name of the view which is left hand side view as shown. Now mention the dimensions in each view as per the dimensioning rule. I hope you understood it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment box. Thank you.